Okay, um, let's look, let us now look at lesson three uh, on the same series on settlement. So here we'll look at urban land use models. So quickly, uh, what we need to do is to just describe and give reasons for the characteristics of and changes in land use in urban areas. Okay, so we are moving. Now, some of the keywords we need to look at is urban, which is has to do with towns and cities. Urban land use is what the land is used in towns and cities. So what you use the land for in towns and cities, example, like housing. Uh, so urban land use have to do with simple, um, majorly the settlement functions and um, the services provided by the settlement. Now, a model is a theoretical diagram which helps to explain reality. So we're going to use a diagram to explain reality, how the settlement looks like, how, is, how it is arranged. Now, so with this, you find out that urban land use model is a theoretical picture which suggests where you might find land use within a town, where you might find land use within a town, and city. Now there are three models we'll look at, which is the Boggis concentric model, Boggis concentric model of 1925. We look at the Hoyt sector model of 1939, and we use the urban land use model for of an early DC city. Okay, quickly let's look at the Boggis concentric model. Uh, now it's uh, this is how it looks like. It's just a concentric um representation of an urban town or, or center or city now at the middle here you have the cbd so you can look at the color code um, just outside the cbd you have factories uh, immediately after that you have the low class residential you have medium class residential and you have the high class residential so we're looking at three major land use here now the land use is arranged in series of concentric ring or zone around the city center now the central business districts tend to form the center of the city now the idea is that the city has grown outward in all direction from the center adding new buildings around the edges now the process is rather like uh, the growth of rings of a tree yeah it's just like that it means that uh, urban fabric should get older towards the center so you find out that within the edge here you have uh, more new buildings so as you're moving towards the center the uh, settlement tend to be old now the width of the zone varies according to the density of building what that means is this can actually be larger it can get to this point uh, depending on the density so it's not like all of them are this in concentric circle are equal then we now have the Hoyt sector model, which was done in 1939, which is more like an improvement on the um, Boggis concentric model. Now, in the Hoyt sector model, you find out that land use is arranged in wedges. They are arranged in wedge, in wedges, no longer in circle or concentric circles or rings. Is arranged in wedges or sectors, which radiate from the city center so the center is still a circle the cbd at the middle then you have factories these are factories all of them have the factories have still have um, contact with the cbd now surrounding the factories are low class residential and surrounding low class residential are middle class residential then high class residential only have contact with middle class residential and the city center now um, growth uh, follows uh, a linear pattern yeah along major transport route so this is built along transport route or trans or physical features such as rivers and valleys now we assume that once a particular type of land use establish itself in an area it attract similar activities like industries now this is two models now the buggies and the Hoyt sector models now let's look at the model in an LEDC city urban land use model in an LEDC city 
now it is different to the two model as it is it has high class residential close to the cbd so here you have high cost housing high class residential are actually close to the city center which is the central business district now around the high class residential you have um, things like the middle class some peripherals but the low class residential is usually at the outskirts of the city while if you look at the buggies model high class residential are usually at the edge of the city but in an ledc you find out that the high class uh, is the low class residential that is at the edge the high class residential tend to stay close to the cbd because they don't usually have a um, very good um, road transport network in ledc cities now the quality of housing decreases as you move out from the cbd as many people are forced to live in shanty towns on the edge of the city so that's just the difference between them now here is an igcse question now this is a model a we have model b here we have a key to interpret all of them now identify model a and b a is the buggies model and b is the hoyt sector model now what is meant by the term urban land use we i think we we looked at that earlier here we say urban land use is what the land is used in uh, in town and city uh, what what the land is used for in towns and in cities now identify two similarities and two and one difference between them now this is in a concentric concentric ring why this is in wedges or sectors now uh, that's one difference now on, but similarities is both of them have uh, are built from the center so they have cbd so both of them are built from the center um, both of them have um low class resident both of them have low class residential they all have high class residentials so you, you just see that how land is used in towns and cities we've got this now similarities both have central business district uh, there is high class residential at the edge of both there are some industry at the center of both and both have the same land use so if you check back you find out that the land use for both of them is the same so those are similar similarities too now differences is that uh a has concentric zones and b is in wedges which was the point i stated earlier uh, a has high class residential at the edge and b has so you can just read through it which is quite really straightforward and just get the concept of what they are looking for so thank you we'll see in lesson four